Right, hello, and welcome back to Pizza Bender's playthrough of Quest for Glory 1. Original, I'm oh. Gonf. And today we are going to be looking around this screen here and following through on some stuff that we started doing previously. Talking to people mostly. So over here we've got this building with an eye. I think, I think it you, might be a magic shop. You think? <laughs> You notice if you if you run around the eye follows you. I don't know why the shopkeeper never seems to be watching, but uh, it's, it's a little unnerving anyway. <laughs> As the narration says, there's no getting around it. A shop with its eye on you makes you nervous. Well, it should. It's a shop. It would seem the strangely decorated building is involved in the magic trade. Really? You don't say. <laughs> She's deeply asleep in her rocker. Maybe I'll try and wake her up in a little bit. It looks like a nice, neat little house. There's a grandmotherly little old lady rocking on the front lawn. Judging from what the sign says, the building at the end of the street is the guild hall. And the guild hall, if you remember from the last video, is where the sheriff said we should go to talk to somebody called Wolfgang who knows about monsters. So, why don't we do that? Just ignore the old lady, ignore the magic shop for now, and head over to the guild hall as soon as I can get the door open. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. The, the door so, slammed itself uh, on you. This adventurer's guild hall reminds you of the one in your hometown. The traditional moose head and other stuffed monsters, Saurus, Troll, Griffin, Dragon, Cheetar, and the terrible Antwerp adorn the walls. You see the registration book on the desk and the bulletin board full of draw listings. The man seated by the fire must be the guild master. He's snoring. Man, everybody in this part of town is asleep. Mm -hmm. Well, it All right. Fine here. So I'm gonna. I, gu I guess I'll start with looking around at these uh, heads on the wall. Even in death, this monster remains awesome. The plaque reads: "Dragon slain by Baron Stefan von Spielberg." The head is like a panther's, but with a strong human-like quality. It is still rather frightening. The plaque reads: "Cheetar slain by Wolfgang Abantoya." It looks like it must have been a particularly nasty troll. You wouldn't want to meet him in the dark forest. The plaque reads, Troll slain by Wolfgang Abenteuer. This crossbreed of an eagle and a lion could have torn a man apart when it was alive. The plaque reads, Griffin slain by Wolfgang Abenteuer. This is certainly a weird one. You've never seen anything quite like it. The plaque reads, Antwerp slain by two guys from Andromeda. That, of course, is a Space Quest reference. The two guys from Andromeda are the designers of the Space Quest series. And... So as not, weird as Antwerp's just about, so, so it, it works out. So it's not the Andromeda Ascendant. No. <laughs> that hadn't happened yet. You never saw a purple Saurus before you came to Spielberg, but it looks like a really stupid monster. The plaque reads, Saurus slain by Hans Halfwooden. Hmm, I get the impression that he wasn't too bright. <laughs> I'm sure that's an unfair assessment. And finally, the plaque under the moose says, courtesy of the Sierra Online Prop Department. <laughs> okay. So let's head over to the book here and take a look at it. I'm lazy, I don't type the word at. The last entry was made several years ago. It says Baronet Bernard von Spielberg killed a troll near the Flying Falls on the 23rd day of October. Okay, well, this is a registration book, so I'm going to go ahead and sign, not Ryan, <laughs> <laughs> the book. You sign your name into the adventurer's logbook with a flourish. And now I will look at it again. The writing on this page looks very recent. It says, I, Gonf, have come to Spielberg to become a hero. Mm. Good luck, me. So, let's, uh, look at this board here, helpfully labeled quests. What do you think might be on them? Gosh, I don't know. It looks like, a uh, return for reward of lost, for re reward for return of lost ring. Inquire at the healers. Don't know where that is yet. We'll find out. This poster is rather dusty and faded. The picture is of a small child with braids. Reward of 50 gold coins for the safe return of Elsa von Spielberg. Inquire at the Spielberg Castle Gates. Something to ask about when we get there. Reward of 30 gold coins for the capture or death of the brigand warlock. Description short, ugly, wears brightly colored robes. Has habit of laughing continually. Inquire at the Spielberg Castle Gates. Wanted. Brigand leader. Description. Unknown appearance. Wears a cloak. Must provide proof of leader's identity. Reward of 60 gold coins and title of Hero of the Realm. Inquire at the Spielberg Castle Gates. Ooh. I want that one. Hero of the Realm. 
Notice, spell components needed. Cash or trade for potions. Inquire at the healers. That's kind of a dramatic difference from the previous one. This poster seems to have been here a while. It has a picture of a handsome but arrogant young man. Arrogant? How can you tell? It's a poster. I guess he just really looks stuck up. A reward of 50 gold coins for information leading to the return of Baronet Bernard von Spielberg. Inquire at the Spielberg Castle Gates. Okay, so that's gives us some information about things we should be asking about the brigand leader, the warlock, and of course the those two kids, uh, Bernard and Elsa. And we can we got got an idea we should talk to the healer, but we'll have to find her first. So let's wake this guy up by asking him his name. <laughs> Ah, I was so busy that I didn't notice you come in. Welcome, welcome. It is so seldom that we have new adventurers here. Most people think this valley is cursed. That's not a name. <laughs> yeah, it's not, so I'm going to ask him again. And uh, I just hit space here to retype the thing that I last typed. That's a handy little trick. I am Wolfgang Aventur, guildmaster of this hall. Oh. Okay, Wolfgang. Let's see, what can you tell me about monsters? You can see some of the types of monsters that live around here if you look at our walls. Oh, uh, okay. Tell me about the dragon head. One day, years ago, a pair of dragons tried to take over our valley. We adventurers rode out to meet them. I can still see Stephen von Spielberg charging forward on his black horse. He slew the one whose head adorns the wall above our fireplace. The other one flew off. People say that they can sometimes see that other dragon flying high overhead, but it has never dared attack us again. Alright. I'm just going to go around and ask about... Watch out for cheetahs. I bear the scars of my last fight with one to this day. It's been a while since Schultz and I killed the one on the wall. It is fortunate that few trolls remain. They're deadly. And here I'm going to spell Griffin this way, even though the game spells it the other way. It doesn't make a difference. I remember the day I killed one. It was the biggest one I had ever seen. It put up a tough fight, but I was tougher. You can see the result on the wall. One year, this valley was overrun by these odd and terrible monsters. Schultz and I fought long and hard to eliminate them completely. We might have failed even so had it not for them for those two peculiar tourists who came to our aid. I know they're not a monster in the wall, but... They certainly were strange. I can't think why he'd think that. Oh... Uh, those are nothing. Anyone can kill a source. So why was it on the wall? I guess Hans, uh, I guess it was an achievement for him. And finally, the moose. That was the most vicious moose I have ever run into. Nearly bit my nose off. It was true. We were just coughing out and it was into it. Once I met it, it bit me. Okay, now we'll ask about the brigands. There is a reward for anyone who can stop the brigands by capturing or killing their leaders. The information is on the bulletin board. So, anything you know about the leader of the brigands? I'm sorry, I only know what's written on the poster. Well, that's helpful. Um, maybe you know a little more about... Uh, we'll start with the Baron. Baron von Spielberg was once a brave protector of our valley. We used to adventure together when we were younger. No brigand or monster would dash with if he's here if the brigand had not angered Baba Yaga. Now it is said that he goes nowhere and sees no one. Okay, Baba Yaga. We like arcs, but not that much. She is the center of our problems, I think. Baba Yaga is a powerful ogre. Baron von Spielberg tried to force her to leave this valley, but she cursed him. Now the Baron has lost everything but his land, and I don't know how long he will keep that. What our valley needs is a hero. I'm going to ask about hero later because that was capitalized, and that's usually important. Sometimes it's not. 
we'll meet somebody later who just capitalizes everything, but uh, I'm, I'm going to ask about that later because right now I want to know about this so-called curse. Yeah, but with the Baron losing his son and daughter, all the monsters, Baba Yaga, and now the brigands, it is them one thing after another. Okay, suppose you tell me about the Baron's son, and I'm cheating here. Son has fewer letters than Bernard, so I'm going to ask about him You are the way. hero and worthy of the name Bernard von Spielberg. He rode off to hunt one morning five years ago, and his horse returned with large and deep claw marks. No sign of the Baroness body was ever found. Alright, we're about out of time here, so I'm going to ask one more question, and then I'm going to end this video. I'm using Elsa instead of daughter here, opposite of Bernard, because Elsa is, of course, shorter. Elsa was a beautiful eight-year-old child with blonde hair and sky-blue eyes. She was the Baron's pride and joy. Ten years ago, she was carried off by something which came over the wall and flew off with her. The search for her lasted many years, but at last everyone gave up. Everyone, that is, except for the Baron's jester, Yorick. Ah, uh, darn, I'll have to ask about York next time. For now, though, this is Gaunt, signing off.